Good afternoon and welcome to today's news brief. Today is Wednesday, May 18. Last week, the Los Cabos Tourism Board, Fiturca, offered a detailed and timely report on the actions that they've conducted in terms of tourism promotion at the national and international level. The presentation was made by Rodrigo Esponda, executive director of Fiturca, who pointed out that the promotional work is constant since tourism is a living process that requires transformation and strategies to keep Los Cabos in the preference of the traveler. Among the highlights of the report was the nightly rate of around $400 per room per night, which is the highest in Mexico. The average expenditure of the international traveler per day was reported at an average of $450 per day, with an average stay of close to a week. Air connectivity exceeded 500 flights per week in April, and so far 2022 reports a record figure of more than 800,000 tourist arrivals during the first quarter of the year. Given this, the Los Cabos Hotel Association acknowledged the value of the promotional work done by Fiturca. Lil C. Orsi, executive president of the Los Cabos Hotel Association, thank the strategies planned by Fiturca as they help diversify and expand the segments that choose Los Cabos for their vacations. An example is the growth of air routes and the growth of national tourism in recent months. In other news, as part of the actions taken by the local authorities to reinforce the knowledge and skills to continue providing an efficient and high quality service to beach users, both local and foreign, the Life Call personnel of the Municipal Coordination of the Los Cabos Federal Maritime Zone, SOFEMAT, French acronym in Spanish, will be participating in the Aquatic Rescue Seminar organized by the Cabo San Lucas Fire Department. The seminar began today and will continue until next Saturday, May 21st. For this reason, the coordinator of SOSFEMAT in Cabo San Lucas, Miguel Flores Valenzuela, urged the public to take all precautions when going to certified beaches during these dates, as the lifeguards assigned to those beaches will be in training and there will be no lifeguard service. Flores Valenzuela said that as a warning sign to beachgoers, red flags have been placed on all beaches. We're going to be without lifeguard service on the beaches due to the annual training that will be given by firefighters from San Diego, California, in coordination with firefighters from Cabo San Lucas, said the coordinator of SOFEMAT in Cabo San Lucas. And he added that while it is difficult to ask people to stay away from the beach during these days, they are instead asking all beachgoers to enter the water at their own risk and use extreme caution when doing so. Finally, he remarked that lifeguard services will be reinstated on Monday, May 23rd. In other news brought to you by Gringo Gazette, the Ironman Los Cabos has confirmed dates for this year. The sixth edition of the Mazda Ironman 70.3 will take place in Los Cabos on Sunday, November 6th. The organizers estimate an attendance of 1,500 to 2,000 participants. The event includes 11.17 miles of swimming, nearly 53 miles of bicycling, and a pedestrian race of 1.2 miles. That is all that I have for you today. Have a great evening. And remember to tune in on Sunday at 6 p.m. for another edition of Cabo Mill News and Community Update with Corey Ricks and Claudia Bell.